The group will undertake the construction of the deep water port project in Huangjing Port, Malacca, Malaysia. The total investment of the project is 66.4 billion yuan, and the foundation stone laying ceremony of the replenishment wharf has been completed. In November 2016, China Power Construction Group announced this important information. In the eyes of others, this seems to be just an insignificant infrastructure project, but in fact, this is a super project that can change the fate of Malaysia and Singapore. Immediately after the announcement of the project, the Prime Minister of Singapore sent a plenipotentiary ambassador to visit China in a hurry and panic. At the same time, for China, the birth of Huangjing Port has also made China no longer constrained by the port of Singapore. So, what is the significance of Huangjing Port to China? Why did it make Singapore panic? Okay, that and more is exactly what we are going to talk about today. Let's get started. In the long-term practice of international trade and shipping, China-Europe trade routes have formed two main routes, but no matter which route is used, it must pass through the famous Strait of Malacca. In other words, all trade between China and Europe depends on the Strait of Malacca. If the Strait of Malacca is blocked, China's economy will suffer a huge blow. However, even in peaceful times, the passage of Chinese ships through the Strait of Malacca has not been smooth sailing. Singapore is located at the junction of the Pacific Ocean and the Indian Ocean, guarding the Strait of Malacca, and has become an important trading hub in the Sino-European trade route. At the same time, it is the largest ship repairing center in Southeast Asia, the third largest oil refining center in the world, and an important financial center in Asia. As a result, when Chinese ships traveling on the China-Europe route pass through the Strait of Malacca, they often need to dock for supplies, or complete loading and unloading, and continue to be transported to China by other ships. Therefore, Singapore's ports play an irreplaceable role in the Straits of Malacca. However, there is an unavoidable rift between China and Singapore, and that is the South China Sea issue. Although Singapore is not a claimant to the South China Sea issue, it is still very worried that the South China Sea issue will affect the freedom of navigation and aviation in the South China Sea. At the same time, out of the common interest of containing China, Singapore actively cooperates with the United States on the South China Sea issue. In July 2016, after the results of the South China Sea arbitration led by the United States were announced, Singapore was the first non-claiming country on the South China Sea issue to express its support for the outcome of the South China Sea arbitration. In the same year, when Li Xinlong visited the United States, he openly declared, the South China Sea arbitration has provided a concrete and powerful definition of the South China Sea issue, exerting pressure on China in the name of international law. At the same time, Chinese ships calling at Singapore ports through the Strait of Malacca were charged an added 10% toll. It seems that the crisis in the Strait of Malacca has not yet come, and the challenge brought by Singapore is imminent. In order to get rid of the dilemma of being controlled by others, China can only develop a new sea route. But the development of new shipping lanes often takes centuries, so China still has to rely on the Strait of Malacca until the new shipping lanes are completely opened up. Since the opening of the new waterway took a long time, China urgently needs to find a new partner in the Strait of Malacca Malaysia put forward the Huangjing port project in a timely manner, which relieved China's urgent need, at the same time, it made Singapore regret it. In November 2016, not long after the South China Sea arbitration case ended, Power China announced, the group will undertake the construction of the deep water port project in Huangjing Port, Malacca, Malaysia. The total investment of the project is 66.4 billion yuan, and the foundation stone laying ceremony of the replenishment wharf has been completed. As soon as this remark came out, the world was shocked China actually found a new partner in the Strait of Malacca. According to the description of the project document, Huangjing Port is located in the hinterland of the Strait of Malacca, less than 140 kilometers away from the capital of Malaysia. The entire port will consist of four islands, including tourism industry, logistics center, deep water wharf and seaside industrial park. The project is expected to be completed in 2025, and the most critical deep water port will be completed in 2019. 
Once the Huangjing port is completed, the situation that the Singapore port is the only one will be gone forever. When a reporter asked the Malaysian Prime Minister why he invited China to build this port, he responded with a smile, there is no special reason. China has too many cargo ships. Of course we need to invite China to build it. Of course it is not that simple. So, why did China and Malaysia cooperate to build this port? In fact, the main reason is that Malaysia wants to show favor to China. The core of the South China Sea issue lies in China. The stronger China's control is, the smaller the disputes in the South China Sea will be. In the past, China's development was relatively slow, and its control over the South China Sea was weak. No matter how many cargo ships passed by China through the Strait of Malacca, and no matter how much benefit it brought to other countries, the countries along the Strait of Malacca would not share the benefits with China. With the increase of China's national power, China's strength in the South China Sea is also growing. Malaysia's choice to cooperate with China in building ports is actually a recognition of China's strength in the South China Sea arbitration case, and it wants to show its favor to China in order to seek common development. Of course, the construction of Huangjing port also conforms to the common interests of China and Malaysia. In the past, with its excellent port technology, Singapore controlled almost all the entrepot trade in the Strait of Malacca, and the port of Singapore became the largest ship transfer station in Asia. Although Malaysia is struggling to catch up, it has been unable to achieve a breakthrough in deep water ports due to technological disadvantages. This has led to Malaysia being suppressed by Singapore. Once Huangjing port is completed, it is bound to break the monopoly of Singapore port, and Singapore will face the prospect of a sharp drop in income. Among the ships passing through the Strait of Malacca, 80% are Chinese cargo ships. After the official completion of Huangjing port, almost all ships will berth at Huangjing port. It is no exaggeration to say that the fate of both Malaysia and Singapore will be rewritten. As a result, Singapore's Prime Minister Li Xinlong appeared flustered. He immediately sent a plenipotentiary envoy to visit China and visited China in person in September of the following year. In an interview on the eve of his visit to China, Li Xinlong actually changed his previous appearance of supporting the United States and vowed to support China's rise. Obviously, Li Xinlong's visit to China revealed his willingness to repair Sino Singapore relations. In general, after more than 30 years of continuous development and progress, China's comprehensive national strength has been greatly improved, and it has developed from a marginal role in the international community to a prominent role in the global economic, political and security fields. At the invitation of Malaysia, the construction of Huangjing port and the strengthening of its control over the Straits of Malacca are the perfect manifestation of China's national strength. Well, thanks for listening. See you next time.